So in the autotrophic nutrition, we have seen that how green plants are able to make their own food. So that is the materials, the simple materials like carbon dioxide and water which are present in the environment are taken up and with the help of chlorophyll using the sun energy that is the light energy these materials are converted to a substance called as glucose primarily glucose which is the major source of energy even for the plant and even for the other animals heterotrophs which depend on plants so this glucose when it is prepared in large amounts it is stored in the form of a starch starch so plants or the autotrophic organisms they are able to make the materials required for their maintenance or survival so they can prepare these materials on their own but are these two materials sufficient for the growth of the plant a plant has to grow not only meeting its energy requirements so apart from the energy requirement there are another requirements even plant has to repair its tissues even the plants they have to grow they should flower they should produce fruits and seeds so by that they can reproduce so to make the new parts and cells apart from these glucose and starch some other materials and molecules are required by plants so plants they need proteins plants they have to make proteins in their body amino acids in their bodies and fats in their bodies how these new molecules are prepared so to make proteins nitrogen is required because to make carbohydrates carbon hydrogen oxygen these are enough these are present hydrogen and oxygen is present in water and this is present in carbon dioxide carbon is present in carbon dioxide so plant is getting carbon hydrogen oxygen from carbon dioxide and water but to make proteins what is required nitrogen is required so where is the nitrogen nitrogen is present in the atmosphere air has got lot of nitrogen 78% of air is nitrogen so can the plant directly breathe in the nitrogen from the atmosphere through its stomata no it is not possible plants cannot breathe nitrogen they cannot use the nitrogen in gaseous form which is in the air so the nitrogen present in the air cannot be taken by the plants so what do they do how do they meet their nitrogen requirements A apart from the nitrogen they need other materials other elements like phosphorus sulfur zinc from where do they get these materials so plants they get water from the soil they absorb through the roots they get carbon dioxide from the air through the stomata the plants also get nitrogen phosphorus sulfur zinc and other kind of mineral salts which are required for the formation of new molecules like proteins amino acids vitamins and different materials to make their new cells for the growth they get all these minerals from the soil so soil is the source of all these minerals to the plants so from where do these uh, minerals come to the soil especially nitrogen it is the most important mineral needed for the growth of the plant from where does this nitrogen comes to the soil so nitrogen it reaches the soil the nitrogen which is present in the air it comes to the soil by different processes by that physical process like lightening and by the biological process like nitrogen fixing bacteria so the plants they may use the inorganic nitrates and nitrates present in the soil or the nitrogenous compounds that are formed by the bacteria nitrogen fixing bacteria present in the soil so in this way the atmospheric nitrogen is fixed into the soil so these nitrogenous compounds are taken up by the plant uh, that is along with the water from the root so these minerals are supplied to different parts and uh, by mixing these nitrogen phosphorus sulfur and all these things to the primary material glucose and starch several biochemical reactions takes place and a variety of biomolecules are formed in the plant's body so these Biomolecules are used for its repair, for its growth, for the formation of flowers, fruits and different different things. So in this way, the autotrophic nutrition, it helps the plants to get to meet the requirement of molecules needed for the maintenance of life and for the growth and development of the 
autotrophic organisms. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.